Hello investors and welcome back to another stock news update and today we have news concerning the Airbnb uh, stock whereby uh, next week the Airbnb IPO will be listed and us investors will get the chance to purchase shares of Airbnb. Now what Barron's financial media house said is that Airbnb is a stock to buy. What did they say about it? Stick around until the end. Now, if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing and clicking the like button because it do it does help us a lot. And uh, yeah, let's get back to the news. Now, as you all know, earlier this week, Airbnb set a projected target range of $44 to $50 a share for its initial public offering. And of course, the company plans to sell 50 million shares while existing shareholders are selling another 1.9 million shares. Now at the top of the range, of course, Airbnb would have a valuation of around $35 billion and at cold wells target price, the valuation would top $50 billion. Now Atlantic Equities analyst James Caldwell sees Airbnb as a company with the potential to take a considerable piece of a very large market. Now in his own words, he said the company has significant secular growth potential in the large $800 billion plus travel accommodation market and it is gaining share not just in that market but also more recently within alternatives specifically uh, online travel agencies competition and this is being driven by its powerful brand differentiated supply and strong community style foundation all of which are competitive ad advantages that should of course endure now, James also said that the timing of the IPO is very excellent, given that Airbnb will benefit as travel demand recovers in 2021 due to the um, progress that we've had with the COVID-19 um, candidate. And, and of course, that the margins will gain from efforts to actually control costs imposed as a result of the pandemic. Now, Airbnb, as we all know, had just 4% of the short-term travel accommodation market in 2019 and of course the figure could reach 10 percent or even more in the long run given that the company's alternative accommodations are on an average cheaper and offer a better experience than the ones that people get in hotels and and also while convenience continues to improve uh, compared to innovation now also while the airbnb was generating substantial losses before the pandemic, uh, margins are improving, and of course, thanks to a 25% reduction in staff this year, a return to focusing on core growth, and of course, reduced spending on ads, is something that people like. Now, James also sees a $1 billion in adjusted earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and of course, amortization in 2023, and uh, he also sees about 1.8% of gross bookings with longer term adjusted earnings before all the deductions margins hitting 4.1 4.5% of gross bookings now while airbnb was generating substantial losses before the pandemic margins are improving and of course uh, james says thanks to a 25% reduction in staff this year a return to focusing on core growth and reduced spending projects that Airbnb revenues of $3.27 billion this year and of course $4.3 billion in 2021 and $6 billion in 2022. So a growing uh, so, uh, increase in revenue. And of course, he also says that adjusted earnings before uh, deductions will turn positive in 2022 and uh, a $226 million at 226 million dollars and at that uh, uh bnb will lose 11 dollars and 74 uh, cents a share under generally accepted accounting principles uh this year but uh it will but it will lose lesser next year with one dollar and 59 cents and only 59 cents in the year 2022 so in his own terms he believes that the share price the earnings per share will continue to Will continue to be stronger as the years go by now of course the stock is of course the airbnb stock is expected to start trading on the nasdaq stock market under the symbol abnb 
on November on December 9th and that will be on a Tuesday so let's stay tuned for that let me know if you're planning on buying the Airbnb stock on Tuesday in the comment sections below and until the next one bye, -bye. Now, also while the Airbnb was generating substantial losses before the pandemic, uh, margins are improving. And of course, thanks to a 25% reduction in staff this year, a return to focusing on core growth and of course reduced spending on ads is something that people like. Now, James also sees a $1 billion in adjusted earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and of course amortization in 2023. And uh, he also sees about 1.8% of gross bookings with longer term adjusted earnings before all the deductions, margins hitting 4.5% of gross bookings. Now, while Airbnb was generating substantial losses before the pandemic, margins are improving. And of course, uh, James says thanks to a 25% reduction in staff this year, a return to focusing on core growth and reduced spending projects that Airbnb revenues of $3.27 billion this year and of course $4.3 billion in 2021 and $6 billion in 2022. So a growing uh, so uh, increase in revenue. And of course, he also says that adjusted earnings before uh, deductions will turn positive in 2022 and uh, a $226 million at 226 million dollars and at that uh, uh bnb will lose 11 dollars and 74 uh, cents a share under generally accepted accounting principles uh this year but uh it will but it will lose lesser next year with one dollar and 59 cents and only 59 cents in the year 2022 so in his own terms he believes that the share price the earnings per share will continue to will continue to be stronger as the years go by now of course the stock is of course the airbnb stock is expected to start trading on the nasdaq stock market under the symbol abnb on november on december 9th and that will be on a tuesday so let's stay tuned for that let me know if you're planning on buying the airbnb stock on Tuesday in the comment sections below and until the next one, bye-bye.